Okay, everybody, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, my name is Jeff York. I am the marketing manager here at SciTech. Uh, SciTech produces a machine monitoring software platform called Data Exchange, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it. Uh, every month we do one of these webinars where we keep things kind of short to the point and high level about uh, some of the value propositions and added features that we are currently uh, implementing inside of SciTech Data Exchange. Today's focus is on uh, the really big one in the last year or so, which is our integration with CG Tech Veracut. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I'm going to do a quick little PowerPoint. So yes, the integration in CG Tech Veracut from the data exchange side of things uh, is a new module inside of Veracut called CNC Machine Connect. And the first official unveiling of CNC Machine Connect happened in June of 2022 with the release of Veracut 9.3. CNC Machine Connect offers pre-check, which verifies that the data and the parameters used in the simulation match what is on the machine. This prevents any unexpected errors from appearing when you run your part for the first time on your shop floor. So basically, a NC programmer can verify that what they have set up on their machine matches what is in the VMC Veracut machine configuration simulation before running a part for the first time to make sure that there is no accidental crashes or collisions. So once you go ahead and you run that pre-check and everything looks good to go, you can hit the cycle start button on that. This week, um, actually as of yesterday, Veracut 9.4 was released and there's two big updated features inside of this integration. Uh, the first being some updated protocols. Uh, Akuma Think has now joined the supported or the previously supported Fanuc Focus 3031i series uh, that were supported by CNC Machine Connect. Uh, the other really big one uh, inside of the new Veracut release, which you all should have gotten an email about that as of yesterday, is CNC Machine Monitoring. And this is a live streaming feature that allows end users to live stream the machining process uh, and this gives insight into things like access positions, overrides, tooling, and more. So to do a kind of brief to, or a just run through of what we're going to be discussing today, uh, we have a very special guest joining us here today from CG Tech. He is going to be running through the pre-check and the also previously, or uh, as of yesterday, the new uh, pre-check application that got released with Veracut 9.4. This pre-check application kind of uh, is a workaround for end users to not have to keep continually checking out Veracut license while out on the shop floor. Uh, we are also going to be discussing the machine mon the CNC machine monitoring, the live streaming feature I just described, and then as well the post-check, uh, which is going to be an upcoming feature. So uh, there is inside of our little Zoho meeting in the heads up display, um, you can see that there is an option for questions and answers. If you guys have any questions, uh, please type them in there. And then at the end of the webinar, we will have both uh, our friend from CG Tech as well as Chris Hamlin, who is the product specialist here at SciTech. Uh, he will be answering those. And if we don't have enough time, we will uh, reach out to you individually and get your questions answered. So from here, I'm going to uh, hand the baton off to our special guest speaker. Uh, his name is Jeff Fagley. He is a Veracut product specialist. He is going to be running through a demonstration of what this integration can do for manufacturers like yourselves. So from here, uh, Jeff, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. All right, let me share my screen here. And by the way, thank you all once again for joining us here today. So, Jeff, can you do me just a quick favor? Can you see my screen here with yes, the CG Tech's Veracut? All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Jeff, for the introduction with this. Um, so, again, my name is Jeff Vagley. I work in our Veracut product group here at CG Tech. 
And just to give you a little update in case anyone is not familiar with CG Tech or Vericut, um, we are the industry leader when it comes to any kind of CNC machine simulation verification, as well as optimization of your, your NC programs. Um, we are the most accurate collision and, and uh, detection system available out there on the market today. Um, we do all kinds of simulation from CNC machines to hybrid and additive type machines where you're, you're adding material and then even machining that material away in some cases. We do various composites layups for um, fuselage of aero, aerospace in the aerospace industry, as well as some drilling and fastening also in that industry, and as, as well as robotics. We've also got a very powerful physics-based optimization program called FORCE that's out there as well. Um, these are some of the industry leaders um, when it comes uh, along with Vericut as far as that FORCE optimization that's out there as well. So I want to walk you through, as, as Jeff mentioned, we talked about a few new modules that are, with the, that are now available with Vericut as well as how we're gonna to work together with Cytex data exchange software. And what I wanna do is walk you through a process or a workflow of where they fit in. I think that will make the most sense um, of, of understanding these products. So if we take a look at, the, at a typical workflow um, that goes on today, um, it, when you're doing your various production planning, you're doing work in your CAD and then your CAM and, and systems, you've got data being passed for back and forth or passed on from your CAD files. And then once you get your work done in your CAM file, you've got a CL data file that runs through a post processor. Once out of that post processor, you then have an NC program there that gets taken down to your shop floor. And when you get your machine set up, right? So when that part is finally ready to run through its first tool proof or first article, you have your, your various items that you need to add to that, to your machine before you can hit cycle start. You've got your program, you've got your fixture, your casting or billet, whatever you're cutting from. You've got various offsets, you've got tools, um, maybe some subroutines or anything else like that. And then you go through typically a prove out process. I would imagine this probably resonates very familiar, a very familiar workflow with many of you. So will you go through that prove out process, stepping through that program, making sure you've got everything um, in the right place. Occasionally you'll run across a couple of issues um, where you have various rework. Um, so you wind up going back to the CAM system, you kind of repeat that process, run through the post processor, they'll take the program back down and you continue on a little bit further down the program. So oftentimes this becomes a bit of an iterative cycle. And then once you finally get through that whole prove out process with your first article, then you can go on to your series machining of cutting X number of parts that you have. Um, you've got a, a program you have confidence in. So I think that's the, the kind of the typical workflow that's out there. Now, if we take a look at another workflow where we introduce Vericut along with Cytex Data Exchange and these new modules that we refer, um, that Jeff was talking about with uh, CNC Machine Connect and CNC PreCheck. We'll go through a very similar process here at the beginning, going, you're doing our work in the CAD and the CAM, and then we have a post-processor. Now, before we get down to the shop floor, we run that program through Vericut, that NC program that's actually taken down there. If there's any rework that needs to be done, or if we see there's any issues, we do all of that in the, on the planning side before we use up any valuable time that's down on the shop floor. So we go back to the CAM system and we work through any of those changes. If we see we're clipping a fixture with a holder, or we have any kind of issues like that, or we need to make a change to a tool to reach into a certain area, we can do all of that work between the CAM, the post-processor and Vericut. Once we're done with that, now we're ready to release that proven NC program down to the, down to the shop floor. We've got all that confidence um, that that program is correct. There's no errors in it or anything of the like. Now, 
We also know, though, in Verica, we have several customers that will tell us from time to time, hey, I ran through and I did everything in Verica. I did my simulation. I've gone through, did my optimization. Everything looked good. But then I got down to the shop floor and suddenly I ran into some issues. So with the introduction of these new modules with CNC Machine Connect, what we do now is we take some files, we put them out there into a communal folder that the shop can have access to. Then when we get to the point where we can run through and, and do our setup for our first article, we set that machine up just as we said before with our program subroutines, our fixtures, any tools and along with their offsets, our work offsets. And we're now, we have that machine entirely set up and ready to run. Also, Throughout the shop, we have Cytex data exchange software monitoring how all the machines are performing. It's giving you various graphs that you guys can display up on boards and management can look at to see the performance of your shop. So before we get ready now to start going through that prove out process or, or what would typically be that prove out pro process that we described above, we pause for a moment and we run CNC pre-check. And what that does, that gives us a very quick go or no go type of result. So if that program is good, that it's checked those critical data points, then we can go on with confidence running those various parts that we need to run. We've got a program then that's been proven out and we have confidence that what we had in Vericut matches what was down there on the real shop floor. If there happens to be any issues that are found as a difference between what was verified in Vericut and what was set up on the real machine, then we will get that, that notification, that no-go, if you will, from CNC PreCheck, and then we can qu quickly go back to Vericut and do an, a double check, investigate what those differences are from what was on the, what's set up on the real machine ready to run versus uh, what I had ran in Vericut. So hopefully that gives you kind of a, a real quick overview of kind of your tip, uh, of what, what we find are a lot of typical manufacturing processes out there, and then where Vericut and um, data, Cytex Data Exchange can fit in with our CNC Machine Connect. So now what I want to do is I want to walk you through what that's going to look like actually in our software. So here I've got a simulation, and it, before I get started, let me explain. What I want to do is walk you through how how we work with Cytex Vericut so, or Cytex Data Exchange software and our Vericut, and I'm going to wear that uh, two different hats here. I'm going to wear the hat of an NC programmer, and I'm also going to wear that hat of being the operator down on the shop floor, um, running the machine and getting the machine set up. So in this case, I'm going to run through my simulation as I as I showed you in those workflows. I've gone through Vericut. I've done my due diligence of checking for any collisions, any errors. I've maybe even gone through, done my optimization. And you'll see here that I've got a program that comes out. And I know it's running by a little fast, but you, I've run through. You can see at the bottom in our logger window, we don't have any issues or any errors that have come up. So I'm now ready to release this program down to the shop floor. <clears throat> so I'm going to go into our CNC machine connect. I'm going to pick, in this case, I have a Nook control that I'm going to do work on or that I've set this program up for. And I'm going to set the, put those set of files out there for the shop floor to, to run. So let me just reset that. And I'll copy those files out there, and now I'm ready to go. <clears throat> so when we get to the point now to go down to the shop floor, let me get through a few windows here. I've now, this part is ready to get, or, or that program that I set up and, and ran through Vericut is now ready to get set up for its first article or, or its first tool proof down on the, on the floor. I have my machine set up with the fixture, the, the stock or billet that I'm cutting or casting. I've got my offsets in the machine. I've got tools loaded. I have the NC program along with any subroutines. And I'm ready to hit that cycle start. 
but I pause for a moment and I bring up CNC machine or, or CNC pre-check. And I simply go grab the document, grab the file that's associated with my traveler. In this case, I've got that traveler one, two, three, four. And I would just simply run a quick pre-check based on the criteria that my NC programmer had verified for me. So you'll see here we're checking there, or we have the ability to check for various items, the parameters on that machine, which are which is a lot of the DNA, if you will, of how that machine performs and operates. We can check its initial machine location, its work offsets, tool offsets, as well as the NC program. And as I stated before, you've got a very simple go or no go. It's great if everything's green, you're ready to proceed. In this case, you can see I've got a couple of red lights. I have a problem. So I need to go back and contact my NC programmer that the, and, and find out what is the difference before I go ahead and proceed with machining this and possibly run into any kind of an issue during that. So back on the NC programmer side, I've gotten a notification from my operator and from CNC PreCheck that there's an issue. So I'm going to go in and investigate that. So you can see here, we're going to take a look at the, the work offsets and tool offsets in the NC program that I had prepared for him. And we're going to run that same PreCheck here. So we will get similar results. Um, with, we should get similar results where we get two red lights and a green light. Um, if there's any items that you didn't want to check, you'll see obviously you have some dark green lights there. And we'll go through, and now I have tools that I can investigate these items um, a little bit further. So if we take a look at the work offsets, um, there we have a green light. You can see I've got my G54 P1 through P4 set, um, as well as a few others. Those all match. Um, but if I come back over here, let's take a look at the tooling differences. So if I jump over to my tooling offsets, this is a perfect time to also explain. Um, I, I've also got a tool here that's that shows a difference. Um, you'll see I've got a 4.75 to a 4.3. Now, CNC PreCheck pre and CNC Machine Connect have the ability to add tolerances and what that does is that accounts for any kind of a difference you may have from the theoretically perfect virtual world where we're in a CAD CAM system and in simulation in Vericut to what's really happening down on the shop floor. We all know that those numbers are not perfectly, you know, a 10 inches or eight and a half inches. There's usually an odd decimal, ball, decimal place um, with real, real offsets or lengths. So I have the ability to account for that. In this case, you'll see that I've got a difference that exceeds a quarter of an inch on those tools. And that's on tool one. So if we take a look here, we'll see that the offset length is 4.75. Let's come back here and we'll go ahead and take that change and we'll update that change in Vericut to what that value really is down on the shop floor. If I go back into tool manager, and I come back over and take a look at this tool, you'll notice it now updated to 4.3. So we virtually changed the length of that tool and shortened it up by pushing that cutter up into the holder a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and save that for the moment. Now let's go back and take a look. I've now got a green light over here by my offsets, by my tooling offsets. Let's take a look. We show some differences here with the NC program. So let's investigate that a little bit more and find out what's happening there. If I take a look at my very first main program, we can see, so on the left side is what I compare or what I have currently in Vericut, and on the right side is what we pulled through data, Cytex data exchange from the real machine. So on the right side is the program that's loaded, and we'll see right away I've got a revision issue. So if I come down here, let me back up to that one item here, you can see on the machine down, on the real machine on the floor, I have revision A, but I have an actual revision B. So I need to get this updated. What is the difference? It looks like I've got a, an extra subroutine that's in this program. So I need to go ahead and get that updated as well. And if we take on any further look down at, let's just take a look at one of the other subroutines that are in here. Um, you can take a, you can see here, it also appears on one of these first lines 
that someone has gone in and maybe um, manually modified the feed rate. It looks like it went from 100 down to 90. So I maybe need to have a conversation with my shop floor and find out if there's an issue with the program that I do need to slow things down or if there's some other kind of an issue. And if there's any more, it looks like I've got a couple other issues further down here. It looks like there was an issue with the end block number um, with the control reading that. So I had made a change. Um, so I need to get my programs updated as well. So I can do that. I could update all of these with the, with the programs from the real machine. But for the sake of argument, maybe what I can do is, is just take that change with the tool. Um, I can get those programs updated a little later on. But let's run that simulation one more time with the data from the real machine, um, with, which, which includes that, that tool length change where we shorten that up. So if I run that simulation, and we'll fast forward this just a little bit to speed through and get to the end, um, we can take a look and see if there were any issues. And it looks like down here is that, is that simulations wrapping up. It looks like I have a couple of errors there. If I go take a look in my program and go into NC review, um, I can go kind of backpedal into the program and it looks like by shortening up that tool, um, which is the actual length on the sh uh, of the tool on the on the real machine, it looks like I'm now clipping the top of that block. So I have a problem. So I need to go have that conversation with our with the shop floor and tell them that we need to update some changes um, or to these tools before we go ahead and actually run our parts. So I'm going to go ahead and reset that for the moment. So in doing that, you can see how we can gather data from the real machine and utilize that and overlay that on our Veracut simulation here. So we, we really have a true digital twin, if you will, of what's going on and, and what's, what's happening down on the shop floor with that information. And we can see that and visually see that through Veracut here. Now, one more function that I want to show you here that we have in with CNC Machine Connect is if I reset this for the moment. Oh, I need to get out of my NC review. If I reset my simulation now and I come back over here. So if we fast forward through it, having a discussion with our operator, we've now got that program running down on the shop floor. Um, I want to see later on what's happening here. So it, how, as see in Veracut how that machine is actually running. So I have the capability through CNC machine monitoring. I'm going to display some information here on the screen, and I'm going to connect to the, to the Fanuc control that is over in Denver, Colorado at, C, or at Cytec's office. So... I can connect through that control and I can see where that program is running live um, that program. So you can see here um, through this information, it looks like I'm running tool five. It shows I've got the end block number that's being processed. Um, if I bring up a, some other status information through the status window, I can see other information as well. How, what's this? what's the e-stop state, um, what's running state. I can also see various overrides that are happening down in the machine. So if something happens to change and it looks like somebody just dialed that machine down a little bit slower, if you see over here in the middle of the screen, the feed rate override, um, as well as over here in the connectivity side of the status window, we can see that somebody dialed the machine down a little bit. So. What's great about this is I now have a live connection to a control on the shop floor running a part. And it, whether you're, if you're, if you happen to not be in the facility or if you happen to be geographically located somewhere else, you can connect and find out how that machine is running and, and what's happening in a live, in a live uh, setting. So we talked about Veracut. We, and, and our connect, connection to uh, Cytex data exchange software, that's where we're able to connect through the machines and gather this information to do that pre-check as well as do that live connection that you see here. And then we also were able to use a, a, that CNC pre-check that's down on the, on the shop floor that can be loaded either on 
one of the sh on the, one of the shop floor computers on a, any kind of a standard Windows type of machine or on a Windows tablet. That software will run there as well. So hopefully you see some benefits between the connection between Cytex Data Exchange and Vericut is what and, and our CNC Machine Connect. Um, with that, I'm going to jump back over to the last slide here. And Jeff, um, I think that's it for the most part. Do we want to open the, the conversation up to any conversation or any questions that they may have? Yeah, absolutely. So if you guys have had any questions, uh, there is a, like I mentioned, there is a little Q&A section inside the Zoho meeting portal. Uh, feel free to type them in there. Uh, if you guys have any, oh, it looks like we got one here. Will this record alarms and what time do they, or did they happen? So if you are connecting to the machine through CNC machine monitoring, as you saw there at the end, anytime you see an, if there's an alarm or a change, you'll see that change immediately. So if you saw the feed rate override, um, another gentleman in the Cytex office went over and turned the dial down. You see that update within a second. So the update is really that quick. If there happens to be an, an e-stop or an alarm or anything, that all displays in real time like that as well. Hopefully that so answers an, that question. Yeah, we have another question is, how do you connect or install software on the machine? So, the as far as the CNC machine itself goes, there is no software to install um, from the Vericut side. There, if you, I, I, if Jeff or Chris, if you want to maybe touch on the point of, of data exchange, what that entails with connecting your machine. Yes. Yeah, so the way that the data exchange architect, actually, Chris, would you rather take this? Yeah. Yeah. Let me take it because I, I want to chime in on that first question as well. Um, so from a data exchange perspective, yeah, absolutely. The product can record alarm events historically. So you're able to go back in and see when the alarm occurred, what alarm was, the detail around it, and how long it occurred for. So that's the first question. And that's all done through the data exchange product. Um, the second question here, uh, to connect to the machines, a lot of machines we connect and talk to directly, but there are just, it, it really is kind of a mixed bag depending on what type of control that machine has. So FANUC we have, Akuma we have, and we can talk to directly. There are a couple of other ones that we can talk directly to. In some cases, uh, we are getting a protocol called MT Connect and talking to the machines through MT Connect. Um, and, yeah, I, I guess that really oversees it. For legacy-based equipment, we have the ability to collect data using what we call uh, an SRC device, which is a hardware box that is capable of collecting data points from like the stack light or sensors or uh, countless other ways to just collect data from the machine. And I think uh, that answers those first two questions. If uh, right. anyone else here wants to take over and see, does it log the events? Uh, yes, that, that was um, all statuses are logged within data exchange. Uh, from a Vericut perspective, that's more or less maintaining the pre-check and running and verifying the programs from what's in the control to uh, what's in the Vericut project. So that's a separate thing, but from a ma machine data collection standpoint, yes, we log uh, statuses, events historically, where you're able to see current live views of the machines as well as historical data. One other item to, if I may just interject there, Chris, Go um, going back to the software installation. So um, when I showed that CNC pre-check application down on the shop floor, that can be installed, uh, just to reiterate, that can be installed on any kind of a Windows-based type computer you have that, that may be next to uh, a machine or, a, or in, a, in a cell of machines, as well as in uh, a uh, Windows tablet type of app or uh, uh, device. So it's it's a very low or lightweight product that can go onto the saw or go onto any either a computer or a tablet type of device, and then you can install that software on as many computers down on the shop floor, tablets as you need. 
So if you have CNC Machine Connect you, and you've got 50 machines and you've got 50 CNC machines and you've got 50 computers, you can put on a, that on every one of them um, as well. So it's right there next to the, to the actual machine itself. Okay, and let me just keep going down the list here with questions. Can data exchange create historical record for feed and speed adjustments on the machine? Absolutely, we have the ability to record any data point on the machine to a custom variable within data exchange where you're able to run historical plot charts and gather that data uh, back in multiple different ways. So yes, absolutely, that is possible. Um, next, can the live view of the machine running the program be recorded for later review? Maybe you can not necessarily watch it live. Uh, Jeff, I don't know if you wanna to touch on that one. Um, so, um that's actually an interesting idea as far as just capturing the video itself. Now, we also have capability within Veracut to capture the simulation so the, uh, an operator could review that down on the floor just as far as the Veracut simulation goes. Um, that is something the, that uh, I'd maybe like to talk to this individual a little bit more about. The other thing that I do want to mention, um, as as we said with our, the release of Veracut 9.4, there's, there's a lot of enhancements that went into the software around CNC Machine Connect as well as CNC PreCheck, and we're not done. This whole area of connectivity continues to grow and gets further developed. There is another part of the software that will be coming here in the near future, um, called what we're right now referring to as PostCheck. So if you think of the fact that while that machine is cutting your series of parts, let's say over the last several days, you've had to run 30 parts. Um, as each one of them is running, that data coming from the machine and how the machine is behaving and performing is being recorded up through data exchange software. You will then be able to go through Veracut and gather or, and grab one of those one of those runs of a part. So let's say yesterday afternoon, suddenly at 1.30, a part came up discrepant. Well, what, what happened? So you'd be able to go in through post check, grab the data for that part that was specifically ran at 1.30, load that into Veracut, and see how the machine actually behaved in cutting that part. And then you could see, for instance, oh, maybe somebody changed out a cutter and they shortened the tool too much and it clipped that part or somehow an offset or a program got changed or modified. So in, in kind of an indirect way, you will have that ability to record and watch things later on, as well as many other um, enhancements and, and benefits that will come around that, that uh, new part of the software. That's coming though in the near future. Great, thank you. That was a great explanation of that. Um, the last one, can you perform live adaptive feed rates based on horsepower draw? Um, so controlling the machine is not, uh, is, is not something that the data exchange product focuses on doing. Uh, we absolutely can, uh, but we overall just, it's not something that we can do. It's not supported by all machine types and it's, it, it's just not something we really recommend doing from uh, a product standpoint at this time. Um, but we can monitor those things and make it very transparent out on the shop floor when something's going awry. So if the machine goes into alarm, you can display that data instantaneously on uh, a real-time view display that would be mounted throughout the shop floor or on something we call the ODI or operator data interface can bring attention to issues that might be going on with that machine at that time. So 